Hey y'all, welcome back to Walk Ready Empowerment Podcast Show, Season 2, where we provide the tools you need to add faith to your purpose. What do that look like? Building up your faith in God, walking in your identity of Jesus Christ, and knowing who you are in Christ. It will catapult you to the next season. We provide Holy Spirit-led tools, so make sure you tune in here weekly every Monday where we come and upload new episodes to empower you for your week. So let's get started with today's episode. Hey y'all, welcome, 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 welcome back to Walk Word the Empowerment Podcast Show with me, Tacola, your faith catalyst. And I am happy to be here today. I want to thank you guys for coming back. For those of you who have been rocking with us for the longest. And if you are a new listener, I want to welcome you as well. Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm so happy to be here. Happy Monday. How you guys doing? What's new? What's going on? I am back with another episode this week. Please excuse my voice. Um, I had to come on here and make sure that I give you guys a um, show today, but my throat was a little scratchy, so please excuse me. But I'm excited to be here as always, and I pray you guys had a blessed weekend, and I'm excited for this new week, and I feel that this week will be another blessed week of course but today i'm going to be speaking on how it's better to be a end of a thing than from the beginning better is the end of a thing than the beginning of a thing and i'm gonna get into it in a minute first and foremost i want to check in with you guys and check in and see how you guys doing how you feeling Last time we spoke was on Instagram. I had my live show, and that was pretty cool. I appreciate all the support, everything that you guys been doing so far. I'm excited for this new journey and everything that we're doing together as a community. I have a lot of exciting news to announce that I will be announcing soon. Please, if you're not on my email list, get on the email list. Like, what are you waiting for? And that will be in the show notes. Join the email community. I sent all the updates there with what's going on. They they will be the first to know. So get on the email community and sign up. I will leave it in the show notes. So let's get started. Um, what's new? What's new with me? I graduated and I had my birthday in the same week. You guys like how exciting is that? Okay, your girl has her second degree under her belt. And it's really good to even get this in the month of May because this is the, um, it has Mother's Day, which yesterday, and I hope you guys got a chance to relax all my moms. Happy belated Mother's Day to you. And this was really a good time to have my degree because I accomplished something that many, many single moms don't get a chance to do. And by the God, the grace of God. He has given me a chance to finish and finish well. And that ties in with today's episode. You know, better is the end of a thing than the beginning. Because honestly, my beginning was not easy. It was very hard, to be honest. Like I started in 2020 and not knowing where this journey would lead me. And now I understand that better is the end of a thing from the beginning. It's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. Because when you finish the race, you get the prize, right? And that's for anything in life. That's in anything in life that we do, um, that God called us to do. And I'm excited to be able to be a catalyst and to go first as a trailblazer for my bloodline and for the people that's called to me. It's exciting to see it come to pass, everything that God has already declared. So I'm here today, your fake catalyst, and let you guys know that if you're in a season that things are ending and you're wondering like, when when is the beginning or where is this leading me? Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. You might be ending friendships, relationships right now. God might be refreshing you. Better is the end than the beginning. I want to get that in your spirit today. And I want you guys to be encouraged that it don't matter how you start. It's about how you finish. Are you able to finish well? Because it's better to finish the thing. 
Because anybody could start something, but can you finish? Can you finish the race? Can you run this race of motherhood? Can you run this race, this race of whatever God has called you to do and anointed you to do in this season? Even what you're gifted to do. Can you start and finish it? Can you go all the way? Can you go and finish it? You know, can you get that degree? Can you finish? Yes, you can. And don't let nobody tell you that you can't. It don't matter what you've been through. It don't matter what your situation looked like right now. Because I kid you not, um, when I started even my journey of getting my degree, it was rough. I started doing a pandemic and it looked like I wasn't going to finish. It looked like this thing was looking rocky because everything that I was going through in the midst of going back to college, you know, being a mom, being an entrepreneur, being a friend, being a daughter, all these titles that I wear, and now I had the title to carry as a student. It wasn't easy. It wasn't. But at the same time, God gave me grace to finish the race. Um, And now, even being at the end of it, you know, this is fresh. I graduated two weeks ago, and I'm still, like, really just basking in what God has done for me. Because in a matter of two years, I was able to get this thing done, you guys. And I'm excited to see where, what's what's next. Like, that's where I'm at. But right now, I'm taking a break, you guys. Like, I'm not going overboard or whatever. Because it's it been a rough two years. And now, I'm just basking and just enjoying me right now. Like, I'm enjoying what God is doing and the fruit of it, right? So let's go ahead and finish and let's dive into the show. That's enough about the updates with me. I'm I'm excited to get into the show today. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with, I've been studying the books of um, Ecclesiastics and it really been blowing my mind with the amount of revelation I've been receiving. So I'm here with a word today to share with you guys Ecclesiastics 7 verse 8. That, That would be where I'm coming from. And go there with me for a second. And this is the um, NIV version. It says, finishing is better than starting. Patience is better than pride. Come on. Finishing is better than starting. Patience is better than pride. So if you pay attention to this right here, it's an exchange taking place, right? So it's better to finish than just starting. It's better to be patient than to have pride. Because without patience, you turn into pride because you start doing things your own way. When you're finishing is better than starting because anybody could start a thing. Like I started at the beginning of this episode, I said anybody could start something. But can you finish it, right? And then in the New King James Version, it says the the end of a thing is better than its beginning. The patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Come on. And I could, I could drop the mic right there. I could stop right there. But hear the word today, you guys. I want, I'm talking to the ones who been in the season of starting but not finishing. I'm talking to the ones who have been a little impatient today. I'm talking to the ones who's maybe dealing with, who fell short into pride. Who fell into not finishing but starting very well. Let this word today encourage you that it's better to finish a thing. And remember, we serve a God who knows the end from the beginning. That's why he reveals these things to us. When we talk about prophecy, when God bring the word forth, he show us the end of a thing, not only to encourage us, but to let you know it's already done. We just have to do the work and allow God to do the rest. But a lot of times we don't know what that look like, especially if you're, we're focusing on our circumstances and we're looking at, oh my God, how is this going to happen? But when you, when you live in the spirit and not in the natural, that's how you pull things from the spirit to the natural. And you do that by reaffirming yourself with God. And then you taking what he's showing you in the realm of the spirit and you pray that thing through, you fast your way through. And then you also do the work. So if God is showing you the end of something that you're dealing with, he's encouraging us to keep going, but we must take that, take it and run with that. We must allow that to always be the, the, the end point 
Like even the the when it comes to vision, when it comes to us having vision and we writing the vision and we making it plain, because it's for a set time. It's a set time for that vision to come to pass. But a lot of times we get discouraged in the midst of starting something and then it's hard to finish it. But today I want to remind you that God, the God who knows the end from the the beginning is telling us today that it's better to finish something that we start because if we're starting and we're not finishing, it's not pleasing to God. And in this Christian walk, it could get it could get weary. Like I talked about before, the like I talked about before, a lot of times the only thing the enemy got ahead of a lot of us is his consistency and the that's the one of our most powerful weapons to be consistent because this consistency breed excellence and we want to make sure that we finish the things so let's be consistent with what god is showing us what he's doing for us in this time and season even in jeremiah 29 11 when he said he know the plans i have for you to, to prosper you, to, let's go there for a second, Jeremiah 29, 11, because I don't know the whole scripture, I want, I want to really paint this picture today, so go with me to Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope, come on, he said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, he said, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. So, like I just said, God show us the end of the thing of our future, right? To give us hope, to encourage us. Because he said, my thoughts towards you are peace. So he don't want us starting something and not finishing it because we get frustrated in the midst, right? Come on, let's talk about it today. Let's talk about it. I've been there, done that, getting frustrated in the midst, and then you stop midway. That was one thing I did with my first degree, you know? It was a four-year degree, and it took me, what? Uh, it was. I'm sorry, it was a two-year degree, and it took me almost seven, eight years to get it because I would stop and finish. But this time, I made up in my mind, I made a decision because God showed me the end of the thing. He told me I was going to finish my degree, and he allowed me to see in the midst of it i helped that i not only held myself accountable but i helped the vision that god gave me the end of it to be able to finish my degree and because it's to give me a future it's to give us hope right it's to give us that anointing the, to push through the breaker anointing to push through so today, I pray that the breaker anointing will fall on your life. As you listen to this show today, that you will break through. You will not stop midway. You will break through, through the iron gates, whatever been holding you back, whatever been hindering you from finishing this thing today. I prophesy right now that you will finish well and strong. We almost midway in the in the in the beginning of this year. We're midway. Next month will be the mid of this year. And let me tell you something. May the the rest of the six months of this year we have left be the best of your life. Be the best six months. You guys know I talk about prophesying over the creeing over a thing. And we have to be in be in the habit of doing that. A lot of times when we get discouraged, when we feel like we can't finish. You got to prophesy over the thing that you very much feel like you can't finish. Because it's not going to be easy, especially when it's a God thing. Come on. When it's a God thing? But that's why we have the helper. That's why we have the Holy Spirit. That's why we have to call on God in the midst. We don't wait until it gets so hard and unbearable. No, we call on God in the midst of the situation. We invite him in because he's a gentleman. We must invite him in the situation and that way he can take over the situation and we won't get so involved and fall into pride. And you guys know pride comes to make us fall, to make us doubt God, to make us feel like, oh, we're doing everything in our own strength to tire us out. Because when we put on the grace of God and we rely on God, grace and everything that he have put into us, the gifts, the anointings, where we allow him to truly grace us for the journey. And when we're in the will of God, it's an ease there. But we have to make sure that 
we're 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 taking heed to what he's saying here in Ecclesiastes seven and eight. So we got to be finishers, not just starters, and we have to be patient and not walking in pride and allow God to show you the end of the thing from the beginning. And you guys know I don't leave an episode without telling you the things that you need to walk in alignment with this word this week, to really allow God to anoint you afresh, anoint your ideas, dream again with him. Get back in that secret place with him and allow him to show you what you need to finish. A lot of times we have to tie up loose ends. A lot of times God will show us, hey, I wanted you to finish this right now. But we have to make sure that we we have an ear to hear what he said in this time and season. Especially when we're getting ready to cross over into the land that he had for us all along. So the practical tools I have for you guys today, number one. Rejoice always and know that God will bring you to an expected end. So what does that look like practically, right? If God said that you are a millionaire, what are you doing? Are you building that blueprint? Are you rejoicing that it already came to pass? Are you walking this thing out prophetically? Are you using your gifts and talents so God can pour into that? So he could send the resource, so he could send the people. Number two. I would say, don't forget that it's not by your works. It's about God, right? So don't get caught up into your works. So I would say, allow God to anoint your hands afresh. To be able to do the work that he called you to do in this season. To be able to be that mom. To be able to be that wife. Come on, to be able to be that husband. To be able to be that business person. That might, maybe you're in school to be able to be a student. Come on. We have to rely on God, not the work of our hands. Because we could get tired. We get tired tired, and, and battle weary. But we must pull on our source. So, number two, I would say don't, don't get caught up in the work of your hands. But allow God to be the source. Allow God to anoint you afresh and allow him to... To really bring you into this place of gratitude and at peace. Because when you operate from that, you're able to create to the high, your highest capacity and how God designed us to create, right? And number three, I would say ask again. Ask him again what you need to finish. Ask him again, what is it that you started that you didn't finish? Or ask him again that where what areas that you need to be more patient in. Because, come on, we're human. Let's be real. A lot of times when things are not going our way, we get impatient. But that's why we have to go back to our father and ask him what's going on here. What's happening? Because right here he said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. He said thoughts of peace and not of evil. So if you're not in peace with no situation, then are is these the things that God wants? you to do are these the thoughts of the lord you have to go back in and check in with god concerning every area of your life you guys and i want to encourage you don't leave out no area of your life untouched invite god into every area because that's when you see him in every area of your life don't block him out don't put him in a box allow him into every area of your life And until next week, I will talk to you guys later. And that's it for this week's episode. I want to thank you guys for listening, for tuning in this week. And don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms. Let us know what you think of this week's episode. And don't forget to tag us on our social media so we can reshare. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to the show. And share this episode with a friend. If this blessed you today... I challenge you to share this with three people. And until next week, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. New on CuriosityStream. How do you connect a 16th century potato to limitless energy production? Could Napoleon's toothpick have a direct link to a machine that predicts the future? And how can a 1700s conch shell chart a course to humans connecting their brains to the internet? James Burke's visionary series, Connections, returns for a new generation. Experience all new Connections. With monthly, annual, and bundled plans, find the one that works for you at curiositystream.com. 
Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchases, over prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.